Good evening, students. In today's class, we are going to continue with the preparation of alcohols. Previous class, we have discussed about the types, and now second one, we are going to discuss about the preparation of alcohols from aliphatic primary amines. See, we discussed about primary amines and aliphatic primary amines. So, if you take NH3 and one hydrogen is replaced now with R group here. So if you replace with R then it will become primary amine because it is a straight chain aliphatic. So now if you are taking aliphatic primary amine and react with the nitrous acid, how you will prepare nitrous acid? It's in situ reaction you know NaNO2 plus HCl will give you HNO2 plus NaCl. So 0 to 5 degrees Celsius this reaction is carried out because HNO2 is highly unstable you will prepare this particular product during the reaction hence you call this as in situ reaction. Now you have taken the nitrous acid and on reaction what you get you will get primary alcohol plus nitrogen and water. Take example R is ethyl group so ethyl amine or ethyl amine in the presence of nitrous acid gives you ethanol plus nitrogen plus water. You can replace R with other methyl group R, you can take propyl etc. Now the third method of preparation is from a haloalkanes. You know what are haloalkanes? Rx. Right? From alkane one hydrogen is replaced with halogen. So you can take Rx. In the presence of aqueous KOH or moist silver hydroxide, you will get a primary alcohol and a KX. So you know K plus and X minus will combine and you will get KX and OH minus will combine with R group to get alcohol. Example you take idoethane in the place of R ethyl group, in the place of X minus you can take I minus. Once again the same reaction OH minus will combine with C2H5 to give ethanol. If you are taking the second method moist AgOH again take ethyl bromide or bromoethane and you will be getting ethanol. So now we have completed the three methods. First one was from Grignard reagent. Second one is aliphatic primary amine. Third one is from haloalkanes. So let's complete the remaining two methods. Now the fourth method of preparation is reduction of carbonyl compounds. See carbonyl compounds are of four types, aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acids and esters. First one, what is the reduction of aldehydes here? So RCHO is aldehyde, reduction is in the presence of hydrogen, see you are adding hydrogen to this. So what is the catalyst either nickel or platinum or lithium aluminum hydride you can take. So in this condition you are going to get primary alcohol that is RCH2OH this is general equation in the place of R let us take methyl group so CH3CHO ethanol or acetaldehyde. So acetaldehyde undergoes reduction in presence of nickel catalyst on heating you will get ethanol. So this is about the preparation of primary alcohol from aldehydes. Remember this general equation we can replace R here with C2H5 CHO also. So on remembering the general equation you can write the examples. Second method is reduction of ketones. So ketones here are CO and here it is R. So either you can take methyl or ethyl anything. So here if you are taking propenone adding of hydrogen in presence of platinum. So you will be getting secondary alcohol. Remember the general equation again. You can replace R with C2H5 also. Now propanone under reduction will give you propane dash 2 ohm. Why do you call it a secondary alcohol? Because this carbon is a secondary carbon surrounded on either side with the two carbons. So OH group is connected to secondary carbon, therefore alcohol is a secondary alcohol. Third method, reduction of carboxylic acids. You know what is carboxylic acid? RCOOH group is nothing but carboxylic acid. In the place of R, let us take methyl group, so ethanoic acid. So in the general equation, 
lithium aluminum hydride is a reducing agent which supplies four nascent hydrogens so on reduction you will get primary alcohol plus water as it is we will write down in place of r you take methyl group so the compound is ethanoic acid on reduction will give you ethanol so in place of r just replace with a ch3 group now the last method reduction of esters you know what is esters r c o o r group is known as ester once again the same method for carboxylic acids and esters we are using reducing agent lithium aluminum hydride so it takes four nascent hydrogens and gives you mixture of alcohols here so one r will give you the first alcohol and r dash will give you the second alcohol so let us take this so r is ch3 and r dash is also ch3 so what you get here in the first case r ch2 is nothing but ethanol and r dash oh is nothing but a methanol so very important reaction if you are taking a methyl acetate the products are ethanol as well as methanol now let's complete the methods of preparation the last one nothing but hydrolysis of esters now let's complete the preparation with the last method that is hydrolysis of ester what is hydrolysis lysis means breakage so hydrolysis is nothing but breakage in presence of water so esters are cooor in presence of water that is either you can take acidic condition or basic condition will give carboxylic acid and alcohol so if you take uh, example here r is methyl and r dash is ethyl group so we get ethyl acetate so ethyl acetate is the starting material and in presence of a dilute acid what will happen here hydrolysis takes place and you are going to get see r is there so we write r c o o h nothing but ethanoic acid and second one r dash oh so you get ethanol second example so take r is methyl and r dash is also methyl nothing but methyl acetic so what is happening for this so in the presence of dilute acid or naoh also you can take so you will be getting r c o oh ethanoic acid and second one r is methyl here you are going to get methanol so very simple so make a note of this and with this we have completed five methods of preparation of alcohols thank you so much